What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a smoky or smoky eye. I don't really know why I said smoky or smoky eye, but that's what I'm gonna do. This wasn't what I originally planned to film this weekend. I was supposed to have a new palette come in on Saturday. Today's Sunday and it still hasn't arrived. I checked the mail at least five times yesterday and it didn't come, even though the website said estimated delivery would be on Saturday, May 5th, and guess what didn't get delivered? My palette. Not funny, it sucked. But they did text me and they said it would be delivered hopefully on Tuesday. So we'll have another YouTube video for you guys because I'm so excited to get this palette in. I wanna tell you guys so bad what palette it is, but I'm not going to because I want it to be a surprise and I'm gonna do a review on it and I'm also going to use it while I review it and yeah so this wasn't originally what I planned a video this weekend but I think I'm going to go shopping after this maybe we'll see what today holds so I'm going to do a smoky eye it's not your typical dark black smoky eye this is going to be using purples and oranges and rose gold I don't know I'm really just going to do it as I go I don't really have a set plan on what colors I'm going to use. So if I don't even use those colors, don't judge me. This is going to be a talk through tutorial and we're just gonna hang out and talk while we do it, gossip, you know, all the good stuff. So this is probably going to be a very long video. So grab a drink and sit back and relax because my foundation's done, my eyebrows is done. I don't say, I don't know why I said my eyebrows. My eyebrows are done. And yeah, so after I do my eyes, we're going to do the rest of our face together. We're going to hang out, talk, and hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and share this video because why not? And if you haven't seen my new rainbow post on my Instagram and my Facebook account, Looks by Zuck, go check it out. Give me some likes. Give me some comments. I love you guys. Let's get this show on a roll, okay? The first color I'm going to pick up, I'm going to get my modern, oh shit, why did I say modern renaissance? Sorry, ABH, I still love you guys. I got my modern in here. Don't worry, I'll probably pick it up sometime. That was my subculture palette. Hmm. Let me get that. It's all good, y'all. Okay, so I do not know why I'm a hot mess today. But we're actually going to pick up our Soft Glam palette. And I'm going to take the shade Orange Soda. And this is going to be my transition shade. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush, a.k.a. my Morphe M504 brush. I'm pretty sure I take this Orange Soda shade as my transition shade constantly. Sorry, guys. Not original. Basic. Love it. Love this shade. So I can't really help it. I just love it. And I don't really try to build it up as much in the inner corners, but once the excess of my brush starts coming off, or the excess, the excess eyeshadow starts coming off onto my eyes, once most of it's off, I try to bring it towards the front, just so we have a little bit of color, but not as a heavy color as we do. So I'm going to stay with my Soft Glam palette for this next step, and I'm gonna pick up the shade Burnt Orange. If you don't have the Soft Glam palette, you could always pick up your Modern Renaissance palette or any other, any other palette that has a nice, like, soft orange shade in it. And I'm just gonna take another fluffy brush and put that into my crease as well, but I'm not going to blend it upwards until most of the powder is off the brush. And yeah. I really have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I hope you guys know that. So if this comes absolutely, or if this comes out absolutely crap, I apologize. I'm really just winging it and taking it as I go. If you ever want to know why it takes me 5 million years to do my eyeshadow, it's because I put 9 million colors in my crease. Y'all might think it's retarded, you don't always have to do it, but I think it just makes a look come together, whether you can see the actual color or not. It works. Trust me, it does. So the next thing I'm going to do is pick up my Modern Renaissance palette, finally. And I'm going to take this red shade right here. It's called Red Ochre or Red Ochre. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, 
but I'm gonna take this and put this in my crease as well. And I'm just gonna take another little fluffy brush and I'm just gonna, once again, like I did my other ones, put it more towards the outer corner. And once most of the product comes off the brush, work it towards the front and blend, baby, blend. Literally, that's the key to all your stuff. If your eyeshadow isn't blended, your makeup look just, there's nothing to talk about. It's just not blended. But yeah, so you just have to make sure you blend all your shit to the max. Like if you think it could be blended a little bit more, blend it, honey, blend it. Because trust me, you do not want your stuff looking like you got layers. You don't want like blue, black, you, know, you don't want blocks. You want a nice blended colorful rainbow on your eyes. Since we are about to get into the darker colors and I really don't feel like having a bunch of fallout on my foundation and it just looking like shit afterwards. So I'm gonna pick up my translucent powder and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, by the way. And I'm just gonna take my little brush. That's a fucking lot. And just get a nice angle right there too and set this up down underneath my eyes because I cannot afford for my foundation to look purple on the bottom, you know? Trust me, this just makes for a nice clean cut and you don't really have to worry about a bunch of fallout. And if I mean, if it does fallout, it'll be caught and I'll be wiped away. I got you. Okay, so for my next step, I'm going to take my Morphe M167 brush and it is a flat top brush and I'm just gonna spray it with my Max, Max, my Mac Prep and Prime just to get it nice and damp to help this next step because I am going to be picking up a shimmery shade and I really want it just to go on and smear out nice and evenly. This is from my Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, and this is the shade Turkish Delight. It's like a shimmery reddish orange shade. And I'm going to put this on my lid. There is actually a couple colors I'm going to put on my lid, but this is the first one. And I'm just gonna take this because this is gonna help all the colors come together nicely. If I can even pick this up, this would be nice, okay? We're just gonna put that all on our lid. The shade has a bunch of fallout, so I'm very happy that I did put my translucent powder down. And for the next step, I'm also going to use my Huda Beauty palette once again. And I'm going to pick up the shade Royal. It is a shimmery purple. This is the second color we are going to put on our lid. And I'm so sorry. This requires so many steps. You honestly do not have to do this step at all if you really do not want to. Because it doesn't come up as much. But I'm also going to put another purpley shade on my lid. But that is going to be coming out of my Jaclyn Hill palette because we all just love Jaclyn Hill. This brush is actually not picking it up as well as I'd like to. So I'm just going to take another flat top brush. And this is actually from, I think, my Naked One palette. And yeah. But this is not like a super hard hitting purple shade that goes on your lid, especially because I have that red down right now. But. It just gives it a more neutral color. So, with that being said, I'm trying to like reach for my palette and there's so much fallout right now, it looks so bad. But I'm gonna pick up my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and I'm gonna take this nice glittery purple shade. What is this called? It's called Royalty. Royalty, game by you loyalty. Okay, that's my dog Kodak Black. And I keep moving around because I can never sit still. Oh my gosh, this fallout is ridiculous, y'all. But I'm going to pick up this shade right here. And I'm just going to plop it back down on my lid. And since you know it is a smoky eye, you put more towards your lash line rather than everywhere else. 
just gonna pack that onto my lid. I don't know if you can see this, but it actually looks a lot better than what it's looking like right now on camera. You really just gotta look how much fallout there is, y'all. This is ridiculous. This is why you put down setting powder. You have to put that down because it'll wipe away so much easier. Like, this is crazy. But once again, just put that stuff down on your lid and make sure the darkest part is at your lash line. Now that we have purple on our eyes and orange, it looks a little crazy. So I'm gonna take the shade Soda Pop out of my Jaclyn Hill palette using my Morphe E17 brush. I absolutely love this brush. And I'm just gonna take this and kind of blend out the purple into the orange. And I don't even know how to really explain it, but I'm just gonna put it into my crease. And if you couldn't tell, I wiped away all that fallout and I put a new layer of setting powder down because that was just looking like a hot mess at this point. And I'm really just gonna help blend this stuff together by connecting the purple to the orange without such a harsh transition. Transition. <laughs> that was such a hard transition because it was just looking a little crazy. But I'm just going to take that and blend, blend, baby, blend. And this is going to look a little crazy because you have like this really dark, dark, dark color right now and then straight to orange. But we are going to go back in and blend it out a little bit better. And sometimes I like to take this same soda pop color and kind of pop it on my corner just a little bit so it's not such a harsh purple and dark than orange because you have to be able to transition it out without looking crazy. But that also requires a lot of blending and we are going to get to that, I promise. But for right now, just blend it out and darken up that corner. I wish you guys could see this, but you can't. But if you understand what I'm saying, just keep doing that. <laughs> I'm still looking a little crazy right now, but to get this a better blending, we are going to take our orange soda transition shade and mix it with burnt orange on a nice fluffy blending brush. I don't wanna put a lot on there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it on where the darkness ends and kind of blend it. We don't want this looking like a super harsh, harsh look. So it's got to be blended. And this will help everything kind of come together and almost as if this look was a halo eye i'm going to pick up my flat brush again from morphe and i'm going to go into my soft glam palette and i'm going to pick up the shade rose pink because i told you i want like a rosy color in here it's just gonna look pretty and i'm going to put this on the middle of my lid much like a smoky eye or much like a halo eye it just it just looks nice, honestly. Like, I don't even have an explanation why I'm doing this. It just looks pretty freaking pretty. That just sounded so weird and so random. But it just kind of makes this look come together. It's not completely like a harsh, harsh, smoky eye. It's got a little bit of glam to it because God knows I love my pink. So for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna take my nice little pencil brush from Morphe. This is actually the E18 brush. And I'm gonna take my Soft Glam palette or my Modern Renaissance, whichever one you have, and I'm gonna pick up my burnt orange shade and plop that onto my waterline. But I'm also gonna blend that pretty far down compared to where I'm going to put all the other shadows. Just because that was one of my very first shades. And it's just gonna help tie all these colors together. So this is kind of coming together. You're all like, what the fuck is she doing? I know it probably looks like an absolute hot mess on camera right now, but like if you could actually see it in person, it looks fabulous. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Ochre, Red Ochre from my Modern Renaissance palette. Still don't know how to pronounce it. Don't really care though. 
because this is a judgment free zone. I'm honestly just trying my best. And then this is going to be using a different brush if I can find it first. I'm a mess y'all, so unorganized. I am. Very, very, very unorganized. Just trying to find it, y'all. M432 brush is a nice flat square brush and I'm gonna pick up my Jaclyn Hill palette and go in with the shade soda pop this one right here to line my waterline and I just like to pack it pretty heavily on my lower lash line it's acting almost as if it was eyeliner and I just pack it on there and kind of blend it downwards as well because I am gonna go in with like eyeliner on the bottom. I hate putting eyeshadow next to my waterline because it always just gets in my eyes and it sucks because I can't do anything about it now, it's already in there. Oh y'all, I promise I am working on getting better camera quality. It is in the works. I'm trying to get a nice new camera, so stay tuned for it. For my inner corner, I'm actually gonna pick up this shade in my Jaclyn Hill palette as well. It is called In Light, because normally I do my Flexitarian Highlighter from ColourPop on my inner corner, but I do not want something super sparkly. Like this has a nice shimmer to it but it's not super sparkly. So this is what I'm gonna plop on my inner corner. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with this as well. But I'm gonna use a different brush because this brush is very, very small. I'm just gonna pick up my brush I used from my Naked palette and I'm gonna use the flat end of it just to put this along my brow bone to give it a nice little pop of highlight. Ooh bitch that looks popping that looks grand 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 i love highlight on the brows like you don't understand i'm just like bam bam next step i'm gonna pick up my maybelline eye studio eyeliner it's like the nice dip gel eyeliner and this is just another thin brush i'm pretty sure this is an elf eyeliner brush and i'm just gonna use this stuff to line my waterline once again because it is a smoky eye, so what is a smoky eye without eyeliner? And I'm trying to talk to you guys while I do this eyeliner, but it's pretty damn hard. So if you can talk while you're doing eyeliner, props to you because I fucking can't. This is actually starting to come together. I'm actually gonna take this and put it on the top of my eyes too, rather than just the bottom. But I'm not doing like a crazy thick like eyeliner line. I'm kind of just doing it pretty sloppy, pretty thin. Just kind of doing it on top of my eyelashes just so it gives it a nice dark smoky look because I really don't want thick eyeliner. I don't know. Never been super into it unless I do a wing, 
which is hardly ever, but this gives it a nice transition. My eyeliner is done. I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are the Pure Pro Lashes. They are 3D cruelty free luxe lashes. I love this brand and these are in the style bombshell. They're nice, big, and so pretty. I'm not going to video me putting these on because I am an embarrassment when it comes to putting on lashes and it takes me like 30 years. So I'll be back when I put them on. Now that I have my lashes on and it took me 5 million years to do so, I really don't understand how everybody else can put them on in like 2 seconds It looks so cute while doing it and it literally takes me like 9 years to do it. Uh, I'm trying to grab my mascara. Sorry guys. It literally takes me a million years to do it but like, oh my god I love these lashes. Look how beautiful these lashes are. These, the, these. This brand is such a good brand for lashes. They have three different styles and this is the bombshell ones. Pretty much the most dramatic ones ever because I'm extra as fuck. But we're gonna put our Bad Gal Mascara on it from Benefit. And everybody else always puts their mascara on first and I'm just not that person. I don't know why, I just don't. But I'm just gonna pop on my mascara and call it a fucking day. I feel like I look so weird on camera right now and I promise to God, guys, this look looks so good. I'll put a picture on here, I swear. Because it doesn't look bad. It's just the whole camera quality and the lighting's good besides the bathroom lighting. The lighting in the bathroom's pretty bad. But my camera quality sucks. So this probably looks so crazy. But, like it looks so good and I'm so proud of it. So now we're gonna do the rest of our face And so I'm gonna bronze up my face a little bit and this is the physician's formula Butter bronzer. Have you guys ever actually smelled this shit? Like it smells pretty damn good I don't know why like most makeup smells like absolute trash, but this smells good, but I'm gonna use my Morphe R2 brush Just to bronze up my face just a little bit because we are on the pale side and I just like to bronze up my face because I just don't know. And I always bronze up my neck because my foundation and my neck are always two different shades, but my shoulders are so tan. So it always looks super weird when my face is like super pale and it doesn't match my shoulders. Don't know why. Now I'm going to contour my face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, AKA my savior. And I'm just gonna use my Morphe R10 brush and use the middle shade because once again, I'm super pale right now. So the darker shades are not working for me. If I use them, it's either just to put them in the very outer corner. If I want a super like sharp contour that's super dramatic, but it's not really what I'm doing today. I mean, my eyeshadow is super dramatic, but the rest of my face is not. And once you did your cheekbones, make sure to contour your temples on your forehead. And I'm just gonna do that. I always like to do that. And I always put it on the side of my nose. Usually if I want a super dramatic contour on my nose, I'll use a much thinner brush, but it's not really what I'm going for once. So I always use blush. If you've seen any of my other videos, oops. Nope, actually it is this way. My favorite blush ever is the ColourPop Why Hello Brush. Brush. <laughs> it's the Why Hello Brush. Fuck! Why Hello Blush from ColourPop it is right here. It is my favorite blush ever. And I just don't ever go without blush. I don't know what it is. Even when I want a super contoured look, I still add blush. And I just use my It Cosmetics brush. It's like an angled brush. I just... This is my favorite blush ever. I can't get enough of it. And I always just like having a rosy tone to my cheeks, even though my cheeks are naturally red. For a highlight, I'm gonna switch it up today and use my Morphe Times, or Morphe and Bretman Rock collab. And this is the Babe in Paradise Highlighting Palette. And I'm actually gonna put the shade Get Lay on my cheeks. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M510 brush, AKA my go-to 
Oh shit, y'all. I've actually never used this and I am glowing. What the hell? I don't know what the hell's in this formula, but I am freaking glowing. Thank you, Bretman Rock, because this shit is beautiful. Oh my god. Literally, barely anything on the freaking brush. Oh my god, I actually underestimated this palette a lot. If you haven't got this, you can literally get it at Ulta or Morphe. I'm pretty sure it's like $29, maybe $30. This is fantastic. I'm actually super shocked with how glowy and pigmented this is. Like, I'm dying right now. This is, holy shit, this is beautiful. What the hell? Oh my god, congrats. Morphe, congrats, Bremen Rock. Like, this is such holy shit. I am glowing hose. I'm actually gonna put on Bebe Girl, too. Well, Bebe Girl, because it's white and it's a little bit lighter, and we'll just add a little bit more of a pearly type glow. Oh my god, y'all. I am like glowing you could literally hang me up as a disco ball and I'd light this bitch up because this is freaking beautiful I don't know if you've ever noticed in any of my other videos I'll put on so much highlighter I literally look like the tin man off the Wizard of Oz but I don't really care just because I like to glow like I'm I'm obsessed with it like oh my gosh I don't even care if I look like gross as long as I'm glowing I don't give a shit like fuck all you guys I'm here I'm glowing. Get like me, bitch. Get like me. I'm not going to do a super dark lip color because my eyes are fairly dark. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a lip liner. This is my NYX lip liner. This is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. And I'm just going to line my lips because my lipstick sometimes runs off when I don't use it. So I just like to add a little bit of a shape to my lips because, oops, I have no lips whatsoever. I also like to overline my lips just a little bit because once again, I have no lips. And the thing I like to do with my lip liner, ooh, I look like a drag queen right now with my lips. I like to color in the corners on the bottom and the top. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going going. Ooh, I'm going to go in with my Mac Cosmetics lipstick and this is in the shade velvet teddy i absolutely love this and i'm just gonna plop that down right on my lips i'll never understand how people can make their lipstick look so damn perfect because mine always looks like shit So my favorite thing is adding gloss on top of my lipstick. I used to be super into matte lipsticks and now I'm obsessed with glosses. But I, this is my favorite combination with the Velvet Teddy and this lip gloss are literally my favorite things ever. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach lip gloss in the shade Papa Don't Peach. This is like the prettiest lip gloss ever. It's like a nice nude gloss and it literally looks so perfect on this lip color. I also feel like it looks super good on like a light pink. Haven't tried it yet though. Mm, I love this gloss, it's so pretty. Mm. 
literally obsessed with it. What the hell? You can also wear this without the lipstick because it's just so pigmented and so pretty. So this is my finished look. I wish you could see how good it looks actually in person rather than on camera because it's such bad quality. But I'm actually obsessed with how this look turned out and I really wish once again that you could see how good it actually looks. But if you do decide to recreate this look, tag me in it, hashtag looks by Zuck, really anything you want, give this video a thumbs up. I mean, or a thumbs down depending on how you felt about it, hopefully not. But feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I really do love you guys. Hopefully you liked how I did this video. If not, feel free to give me some feedback in the comments below. And I'll have all my social media linked down in the box below me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And yeah, so follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook. And I love you guys. Third time I said it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.